Okay, this is a, a video on a video editing application that I've never used that I just found out about yesterday. And it kind of reminds me of Sony Vegas in a free sense. It's uh, definitely, it, it doesn't feel as feature rich, but then again it does. I mean, here, and, and you'll see for yourself here. Let's open up, uh, it's called KDE in Live. And this is what our program looks like. Now I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. Um, let's pretend like we're gonna make a screencast or something. I'll kind of show you how I upload my videos to YouTube. I'll do it in a real quick version so way this video doesn't get too crazy. So now the first thing I do is I open up record my desktop, which I'm doing now. I'll record and then I'll stop the recording. Then I run a command because here, let me show you what happens. Uh, let's say we have, well, let me go grab a video real quick. Just anything, the alien game that I recorded not too long ago. Um, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna copy that right into this directory just so we can play around and edit it. And then I'll delete that. Okay, so let's say we recorded something through Record My Desktop. Here's our video, OGV file. Now the problem with this, it, that I, it's only been a problem with the 10.04 version that I've, I've tried. Let's say you drag it into our uh, our project tree here. Okay, we're gonna bring it in. You see the video is all white. Same thing if you just try to upload this to YouTube. Before it would come out really good with really good quality. Now it just comes out all gray. But in like this one, it shows it all white. So what I do is I run a command. And that command is from a terminal. So I'll get into a terminal and I'll zoom in here so you guys can see. Okay, command I run is first I go I cd into that directory which is it's on our uh, where's it at? It's on our desktop. What's the name of the folder? Okay, cd test video. So here's our video. It's that OGV file in there. Then I run this command and I will post this in the show notes so you can see it or pause it and record and copy it there. Now just make sure that the file name is correct original.ogv which it's not correct in this case oh well, yeah it is actually original OGV and then original OGV. I thought I renamed it. Anyways and then it's gonna produce a AVI file like that. So I'm gonna run that and you know what that's gonna take some time so let me pause the video and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, I went ahead and stopped it, and it's uh, now we have our file. Okay, right here. Alien Game AVI. That's what I ended up renaming it to. And my dogs are barking. Sorry for the loud noise. So, now what we want to do is I'll just drag that in there, and you can see now we got video. Be quiet. There's a guy walking across the street, and the dogs are crazy. So, now what I do is I bring in, uh, I can just drop in the video. Let's drop in the video right here. And I want to put that PC Addicts logo in there, which I have right here. It's just a JPEG, so I'll add that to our project tree. Drop it in underneath there somewhere. I'll zoom in here by holding Control and hitting the mouse wheel. So I'm zooming in on the timeline. And I want to create a little transition between these two. Otherwise, it looks like this. All right, this is on a game. And that's not what I want. So what we do is we highlight that. We go to Transitions, I think. Uh, da, 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 da. Where did I go, George? Where did I go? Okay. Pause. Okay, I remember. Right click on it. Go to add transition. And I do the slide. So I add the slide. You can see a little yellow thing. Um, see a little yellow kind of bar right there. Now let's watch the preview. All right, this is... A there you go. So there's your little transition. And then if you want to add the music, you can, same thing. If you had a little audio file, you just drop it in your project tree and then drag that down in here somewhere, the audio. And you can go in there and cut it up. And let's say this video is too long or you want, you know, let's say we want to split the video right here. You just bring your thing there. And I think you hit the letter S, but let's see if it's working. Mm, well, I know you can cut clip right there. And that'll do it, I think. Yeah, and then you can delete, then move that back over. A game. Yep, so there you go. And this is actually a pretty decent 
program. I, uh, and then when you render it, let's say it's all done, click render, and you have a lot of formats here. Um, what I do is I choose websites, and these were all red, but I was able to create my own right here. I had to download some codecs to get those working. But what I did is I just went in here, changed um, the audio codec because this isn't um, used in the new version of Ubuntu. So I just um, changed that to some to this one and saved it as a favorite. So now I just double click it, or I don't even double click it. I highlight it, name it, whatever you want to name it, and hit render to file. And that's it.